Hello and welcome to stage 11 of Giro d'Italia 2020. We're on our way to Rimini in Emilia Romagna today on a 182 kilometer ride from Porto Sant'Elpidia in the Marche region on what is billed as a day for the sprinters to shine. This is what the riders face. They hug the coastline for much of the afternoon. 182 kilometers in total as they head inland towards the back end, but nothing particularly demanding. Ought to be a day for the sprinters. Just one classified climb to uh, face along the way. A couple of intermediate sprints and the climb cat four ascent, just under four kilometers, 4.1% 4 average, coming with uh, fully 71 kilometers remaining of the day. A couple of bri Oh, Elia Viviani, would you believe it? Elia Viviani, all of that work today done by the Kofidis uh, squad on the front. Let's get a look at this as we wind our way through a 180 hairpin. The motorcycle went straight to the back of Viviani on the corner. Okay. Well, that is a critical moment, and that is a disappointment. Forte is the uh, elder statesman, and the elder statesman of the two up front. Uh, it looks like he's taken his leave of Mattia Baez, the 23-year-old, not able to live with the horsepower, the sheer engine. Uh, that is Sander Arme. Indeed, I mean, he's, he's taken a bit of a bang to his knee there, isn't he? Just uh, getting a bit of magic spray, just to maybe, uh, from a cutaneous level, just take a little bit of pain away, a bit of antiseptic as well. And Sander Arme hits what must feel like a mountain and struggling to stay on top of that massive gear. As far as he's concerned, the only way he's going to win this is to leave it in as 11 and just make sure he gets up around 85 <laughs> revs per minute. And uh, if he does that, he'll win the day. If he doesn't, oh, he's in bits. 10 seconds. Well, Sander Alme is fighting tooth and nail here, isn't he? But it looks as if his tenure at the front is about to be uh, come to an end, and it is UAE Team Emirates leading the chase as we come towards the coast. Up and under the kite, heading towards the final bend with just uh, six and a bit, uh, 650 metres remaining as Scottson hits the front for Groupama FTJ. It is Scottson just on the wheel is Guanieri. Guanieri, second wheel, ideally placed, is the winner of three stages, but just on the wheel of, of Demar is, well, it's Gaviria. In the run to the line now, 600 metres remaining, line astern for the Groupama FTJ squad. Arne Demar feeling a bit vulnerable, perhaps. He's got Gaviria. Gaviria right on his wheel, on the wheel of Gaviria is Peter Sagan, all the big guns waiting to launch, Hodge has picked up Sagan, and here come Israel Startup Nation trying to propel Rick Zaubel into position, as Arne Damar finds himself vulnerable, he's got one lead out man, they're all coming and crowding around him, here comes Damar, he's launched, Sagan on his wheel, Damar is going to lead it out, he's going to go for glory, nobody's going to stop him, Arne Damar to the line, he gets a fourth, it's four victories for Arne Damar, he gets the win into Remini, it's a remarkable conversion, from the Groupama FTJ squad on the front all day. And Arne Damar is the fastest man in Giro d'Italia 2020. Make no mistake about it. This is now Zabo taking it up. It's quite a long way back, but look at this. Straight off the wheel of Guanieri on the left-hand side. And you see the way that Sagan had to track round, go straight past Viviani. Hodges in contention as well. Carrying a lot of speed. I think Simone is, is the rider from a confidence who gets fifth in the end. Fourth, should I say. Well, it is Simone Consoni who sprinted in the end. Sagan carrying a bit more speed across the line, but it's all about who's first. Of course, it is that man, Arnaud Demar. Bisous, my bus. Sagan, Hodge, Consoni, Zabaldens, Gaviria, Oldani, Mosca, and Elia Viviani at the back of the top 10, surfing the wheels, but not able to recover. Four Italians in the top 10, but it's a Frenchman at the top of the standings. You can tell that the team of uh, Mark Medio want to keep him on board, don't they? Sign through to 2023. <laughs> one of the, apart from Pino, of course, one of their biggest asset he is, and at the moment, is a race winning machine, isn't he? And he's certainly having fun. There's the overall standings, no change. Safely negotiated for Joao Almeida, Wilco Kelderman, Peo Bilbao, Pozzavivo, and friends today safely in that front group and no change in the top 10.